שלום וברכה. The pain that people feel in their lives is the pain of lacking. Some has financial lackings, some suffering from emotional lackings, some suffers from lacking of knowledge, lacking of understanding. Everyone lacks for something and he desires that thing and wish to complete it. Now the thing is that we also have some spares. Every one of us has a certain kind of bounty that is held under his hand and is not being given because of certain constrictions, barriers that we are putting for ourselves in our lives for us not to share that great bounty with the world. We're afraid to lack again. You're afraid that if you're going to give, you won't have for yourself for the future. You're afraid that if you will give, the knowledge or the power that you gave will be used against you. You hold yourself from giving because of your own lack of confidence, because of your fear, because of mind poverty, lack of understanding of the true purpose of our creation and the essence of our lives. And it is to be generous givers and not self-centered receivers. The beauty of it is that when you give, immediately you receive much more. Just that you're not always receiving the same coin that you give. If you give charity, sometimes the expansions, the beautiful rewards that you will enjoy from will not be financial. It will be that you will think in a wider way. It will be that you will feel in deeper ways you will be rewarded by Hashem, but not always in a direct way that can be easily recognized by you, by the giver. But exactly on that we need to have trust. We need to have faith. There is a story on a righteous man that passed away a few years ago. His name was is Rabbi Yudha Zev Lebovich. He lived in a village named Urshave in Hungary before of the Holocaust. He was a child by his parents' house. Rabbi Echiel Tzvi was his father and his holy mother's name was Golda. When he was a child, there was a non-Jewish person, a kid, that lived in their area, in their village, that was always abused by the other kids of their neighborhood, of their village. They were beating him, they were chasing him, mocking him, and on. Rabbi Achil Tzvi, the father, was always taking that kid into their house, washing his face, cheering him up, supporting him, protecting him from the pain that he experienced outside. In one of the days, Rabbi Zev, the kid, his child, came to his father and asked him, Father, why do you care so much from that boy? He's not our family member, he's not related to us in any way, he's different than us. And we must remember that the culture and the way people lived in those years before the Holocaust, the differences between the nations 
the culture and ways of education were very different. The old Orthodox religious people, Jewish people, lived a very different way, in a very different way than the non-Jewish people that lived with them in the same villages. So the question was simple, and the father answered his child with a verse. Send your bread upon the waves of the water, and with the days you shall find it. The war began, and the Jewish people were taken from their villages. Most of them were murdered. Rabbi Yudazaev, as a 17 years old, was taken to the horrible Auschwitz camp. He said that in one of the days while he was walking, starving and broken so close to death he heard someone call his name. He turned to the side and he saw that same kid that his father was taking care of and he was working in an important position in the camp's kitchen and he called Rabiuda Zev into the kitchen a place that for sure no Jewish kid was allowed to enter no Jewish person was allowed to enter and he would be killed for that as alone And he fed him, he took care of him. And on daily basis, Rabbi Yudazayev would come to the kitchen and that kid would feed him. Rabbi Yudazayev Lebovich, may his soul be honored and respected fully in heaven, as he should, said that only by the merit of that mitzvah of his father that protected that kid, he survived the camps. He survived the horrible Holocaust and was fed by him. And the bread that his father put upon the waves of the water came back to his child and saved his life. You make one mitzvah and you feed someone else's lacking, you help him and the reward shall come, not always in such a direct and clear way, but for sure that the Creator will not hold back the reward of no creation. Don't be afraid to give. If we all will give from what we have, a little bit of time, a little bit of wisdom, few words, small amount for charity, a good word, a smile, we will feel the lackings of our surroundings and we will inspire them to do so and to shine their own light as well, to give from their inner treasures and to satisfy the world that is surrounding them. And one circle will touch and heal the next, and the next will shine to the circles surrounding it, and will expand, and circles will grow, and the whole world shall be healed. And even though that it sounds to us like the mission and the operation is so big and so huge, so large, beyond our ability. You're not commanded to complete the task, but you're not allowed to avoid it. The responsibility to do as much as we can is in front of us, and we should choose to pick it up and to walk with it. 
for the distance that we're able to. And we are able for much, for a lot, for a great lot. You can always find time to send a message to a person, to say a good word to someone, to spare another few coins for charity, to do something good and useful for someone else. Simple things that are close to you, things that you're able to do. Don't think about the things that are impossible for you to complete. Think about the things that are close to you, that are in your mouth, that are in your heart. The Torah is not in the sky, it's not across the sea, it's not behind the mountains of darkness. It's in your mouth and in your heart to keep and to do. It's in our power to shine the light. With one candle's flame, you can lit endless amount of candles. You don't need to have billions of dollars to heal the world. One dollar can do the job. One word can do the job. One candle will lit the next, and the next will be inspired to lit the next, and so on. For endless amounts of candles shall shine the world with the greatest light of soul, the light of our creation, the light of our Creator. Amen.